PT100 resistance thermometers, also called resistance temperature detectors (RTDs), are sensors used to measure temperature. The PT100 carry a granite wood crowadding. Many RTD elements consist of a length of fine wire wrapped around a ceramic or glass core, but other constructions are also used. The RTD wire is a pure material, plastic. The material has an accurate resistance temperature relationship which is used to provide an indication of temperature. As mother of the elements are fragile, they are often housed in protective probes. RTDs, which have higher accuracy and repeatability, are slowly replacing thermocouples in industrial applications below 600 degrees Celsius. Topic Resistance – Temperature relationship of metals Common RTD sensing elements constructed of platinum, copper or nickel have a repeatable resistance versus temperature relationship R versus T and operating temperature range. The R versus T relationship is defined as the amount of resistance change of the sensor per degree of temperature change. The relative change in resistance, temperature coefficient of resistance, varies only slightly over the useful range of the sensor. Platinum was proposed by Sir William Siemens as an element for a resistance temperature detector at the Bakerian lecture in 1871. It is a noble metal and has the most stable resistance temperature relationship over the largest temperature range. Nickel elements have a limited temperature range because the amount of change in resistance per degree of change in temperature becomes very nonlinear at temperatures over 300 degrees Celsius (572 degrees Fahrenheit). Copper has a very linear resistance temperature relationship. However, copper oxidizes at moderate temperatures and cannot be used over 150 degrees Celsius (302 degrees Fahrenheit). The significant characteristic of metals used as resistive elements is the linear approximation of the resistance versus temperature relationship between 0 and 100 degrees Celsius. This temperature coefficient of resistance is denoted by alpha and is usually given in units of omega omega degree C. Alpha equals R 100 minus R 0 100 C R 0 display style alpha equals frac R underscore 100 R underscore 0 100 erm carrot circ C C D O T R underscore 0 where R 0 display style R underscore 0 is the resistance of the sensor at 0 degrees Celsius R 100 display style R underscore 100 is the resistance of the sensor at 100 degrees Celsius. Pure platinum has alpha. Topic 0 0.003925 ohms omega degree C in the 0 to 100 degrees Celsius range and is used in the construction of laboratory grade RTDs. Conversely, two widely recognized standards for industrial RTDs IEC 60751 and ASTM E1137 specify alpha 0 0.00385 ohms, omega degree C. Before these standards were widely adopted, several different alpha values were used. It is still possible to find older probes that are made with platinum that have alpha equals 0 0.003916 ohms, omega degree C and 0 0.003902 ohms, omega degree C. These different alpha values for platinum are achieved by doping, basically, carefully introducing impurities into the platinum. The impurities introduced during doping become embedded in the lattice structure of the platinum and result in a different R versus T curve and hence alpha value. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Calibration. 
To characterize the R versus T relationship of any RTD over a temperature range that represents the planned range of use, calibration must be performed at temperatures other than 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. This is necessary to meet calibration requirements. Although RTDs are considered to be linear in operation, it must be proven that they are accurate with regard to the temperatures with which they will actually be used. See details in comparison calibration option. Two common calibration methods are the fixed point method and the comparison method. Fixed point calibration is used for the highest accuracy calibrations by national metrology laboratories. It uses the triple point, freezing point or melting point of pure substances such as water, zinc, tin, and argon to generate a known and repeatable temperature. These cells allow the user to reproduce actual conditions of the ITS 90 temperature scale. Fixed point calibrations provide extremely accurate calibrations within plus or minus 0.001 degrees Celsius. A common fixed point calibration method for industrial grade probes is the ice bath. The equipment is inexpensive, easy to use, and can accommodate several sensors at once. The ice point is designated as a secondary standard because its accuracy is plus or minus 0.005 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 0.009 degrees Fahrenheit, compared to plus or minus 0.001 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 0.0018 degrees Fahrenheit for primary fixed points. Comparison calibrations is commonly used with secondary SPRTs and industrial RTDs. The thermometers being calibrated are compared to calibrated thermometers by means of a bath whose temperature is uniformly stable. Unlike fixed point calibrations, comparisons can be made at any temperature between minus 100 degrees Celsius and 500 degrees Celsius minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit to 932 degrees Fahrenheit. This method might be more cost effective, since several sensors can be calibrated simultaneously with automated equipment. These electrically heated and well-stirred baths use silicone oils and molten salts as the medium for the various calibration temperatures. <inaudible> <inaudible> element types The three main categories of RTD sensors are thin film, wire wound, and coiled elements. While these types are the ones most widely used in industry, other more exotic shapes are used, for example, carbon resistors are used at ultra-low temperatures minus 173 degrees Celsius to minus 273 degrees Celsius. Carbon resistor elements are cheap and widely used. They have very reproducible results at low temperatures. They are the most reliable form at extremely low temperatures. They generally do not suffer from significant hysteresis or strain gauge effects. Strain-free elements Use a wire coil minimally supported within a sealed housing filled with an inert gas. These sensors work up to 961.78 degrees Celsius and are used in the SPRTs that define its 90. They consist of platinum wire loosely coiled over a support structure, so the element is free to expand and contract with temperature. They are very susceptible to shock and vibration, as the loops of platinum can sway back and forth, causing deformation. Thin film elements have a sensing element that is formed by depositing a very thin layer of resistive material, normally platinum, on a ceramic substrate plating. This layer is usually just 10 to 100 angstroms 1 to 10 nanometers thick. This film is then coated with an epoxy or glass that helps protect the deposited film and also acts as a strain relief for the external lead wires. Disadvantages of this type are that they are not as stable as their wire wound or coiled counterparts. They also can only be used over a limited temperature range due to the different expansion rates of the substrate and resistive deposited giving a strain gauge effect that can be seen in the resistive temperature coefficient. These elements work with temperatures to 300 degrees Celsius 572 degrees Fahrenheit without further packaging, but can operate up to 600 degrees Celsius 1112 degrees Fahrenheit when suitably encapsulated in glass or ceramic. 
Special high temperature RTD elements can be used up to 900 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit with the right encapsulation. Wire wound elements can have greater accuracy, especially for wide temperature ranges. The coil diameter provides a compromise between mechanical stability and allowing expansion of the wire to minimize strain and consequential drift. The sensing wire is wrapped around an insulating mandrel or core. The winding core can be round or flat, but must be an electrical insulator. The coefficient of thermal expansion of the winding core material is matched to the sensing wire to minimize any mechanical strain. This strain on the element wire will result in a thermal measurement error. The sensing wire is connected to a larger wire, usually referred to as the element lead or wire. This wire is selected to be compatible with the sensing wire, so that the combination does not generate an EMF that would distort the thermal measurement. These elements work with temperatures to 660 degrees Celsius. Coiled elements have largely replaced wire wound elements in industry. This design has a wire coil that can expand freely over temperature, held in place by some mechanical support, which lets the coil keep its shape. This strain-free design allows the sensing wire to expand and contract free of influence from other materials. In this respect, it is similar to the SPRT, the primary standard upon which its 90 is based, while providing the durability necessary for industrial use. The basis of the sensing element is a small coil of platinum sensing wire. This coil resembles a filament in an incandescent light bulb. The housing or mandrel is a hard-fired ceramic oxide tube with equally spaced bores that run transverse to the axes. The coil is inserted in the bores of the mandrel and then packed with a very finely ground ceramic powder. This permits the sensing wire to move, while still remaining in good thermal contact with the process. These elements work with temperatures to 850 degrees Celsius, the current international standard that specifies tolerance and the temperature to electrical resistance relationship for platinum resistance thermometers PRTs is IEC 60751-2008, ASTM E1137 is also used in the United States. By far the most common devices used in industry have a nominal resistance of 100 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius and are called PT-100 sensors. PT is the symbol for platinum. 100 for the resistance in ohms at 0 degrees Celsius. It is also possible to get PT-1000 sensors, where 1000 is for the resistance in ohms at 0 degrees Celsius. The sensitivity of a standard 100 ohm sensor is a nominal 0.385 ohms per degree Celsius. RTDs with a sensitivity of 0.375 and 0.392 ohms per degree Celsius, as well as a variety of others, are also available. Function Resistance thermometers are constructed in a number of forms and offer greater stability, accuracy and repeatability in some cases than thermocouples. While thermocouples use the Seebeck effect to generate a voltage, resistance thermometers use electrical resistance and require a power source to operate. The resistance ideally varies nearly linearly with temperature per the calendar van Dusen equation. The platinum detecting wire needs to be kept free of contamination to remain stable. A platinum wire or film is supported on a former in such a way that it gets minimal differential expansion or other strains from its former, yet is reasonably resistant to vibration. RTD assemblies made from iron or copper are also used in some applications. Commercial platinum grades exhibit a temperature coefficient of resistance 0.00385 per degrees Celsius 0.385% per degree Celsius European fundamental interval. The sensor is usually made to have a resistance of 100 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius. This is defined in BSN 60751-1996 taken from IEC 60751-1995. The American fundamental interval is 0.00392 per degrees Celsius, based on using a purer grade of platinum than the European standard. 
The American standard is from the Scientific Apparatus Manufacturers Association SAMA, who are no longer in this standards field. As a result, the American standard is hardly the standard even in the U.S. Lead wire resistance can also be a factor. Adopting three and four wire, instead of two wire, connections can eliminate connection lead resistance effects from measurements. See below. Three wire connection is sufficient for most purposes and is an almost universal industrial practice. Four wire connections are used for the most precise applications. Topic: Advantages and limitations. The advantages of platinum resistance thermometers include high accuracy, low drift, wide operating range, suitability for precision applications, limitations. RTDs in industrial applications are rarely used above 660 degrees Celsius. At temperatures above 660 degrees Celsius it becomes increasingly difficult to prevent the platinum from becoming contaminated by impurities from the metal sheath of the thermometer. This is why laboratory standard thermometers replace the metal sheath with a glass construction. At very low temperatures, say below minus 270 degrees Celsius 3K, because there are very few phonons, the resistance of an RTD is mainly determined by impurities and boundary scattering and thus basically independent of temperature. As a result, the sensitivity of the RTD is essentially zero and therefore not useful. Compared to thermistors, platinum RTDs are less sensitive to small temperature changes and have a slower response time. However, thermistors have a smaller temperature range and stability. Topic: <inaudible> RTDs versus thermocouples. The two most common ways of measuring temperatures for industrial applications are with resistance temperature detectors (RTDs) and thermocouples. Choice between them is usually determined by four factors. Temperature If process temperatures are between minus 200 and 500 degrees Celsius minus 328.0 and 932.0 degrees Fahrenheit, an industrial RTD is the preferred option. Thermocouples have a range of minus 180 to 2320 degrees Celsius minus 292.0 to 4208.0 degrees Fahrenheit, so for temperatures above 500 degrees Celsius 932 degrees Fahrenheit they are the only contact temperature measurement device. Response time if the process requires a very fast response to temperature changes fractions of a second as opposed to seconds, then a thermocouple is the best choice. Time response is measured by immersing the sensor in water moving at 1 meter per second 3.3 feet per second with a 63.2% step change. Size a standard RTD sheath is 3.175 to 6.35 mm 0.1250 to 0.2500 in, in diameter. Sheath diameters for thermocouples can be less than 1.6 mm 0.063 in. Accuracy and stability requirements if a tolerance of 2 degrees Celsius is acceptable and the highest level of repeatability is not required, a thermocouple will serve. RTDs are capable of higher accuracy and can maintain stability for many years, while thermocouples can drift within the first few hours of use. Construction These elements nearly always require insulated leads attached. PVC, silicone rubber or PTFE insulators are used at temperatures below about 250 degrees Celsius. Above this, glass fiber or ceramic are used. The measuring point, and usually most of the leads, require a housing or protective sleeve, often made of a metal alloy that is chemically inert to the process being monitored. Selecting and designing protection sheaths can require more care than the actual sensor, as the sheath must withstand chemical or physical attack and provide convenient attachment points. <laughs> <laughs> Wiring configurations <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Two-wire configuration. The simplest resistance thermometer configuration uses two wires. It is only used when high accuracy is not required, as the resistance of the connecting wires is added to that of the sensor, leading to errors of measurement. This configuration allows use of 100 meters of cable. This applies equally to balanced bridge and fixed bridge system. For a balanced bridge usual setting is with R2. Topic. R1, and R3 around the middle of the range of the RTD. So for example, if we are going to measure between 0 and 100 degrees Celsius, 32 and 212 degrees Fahrenheit, RTD resistance will range from 100 ohms to 138.5 ohms, we would choose R1. 120 ohms. In that way we get a small measured voltage in the bridge. Topic. Three wire configuration In order to minimize the effects of the lead resistances, a three wire configuration can be used. The suggested setting for the configuration shown, is with R1 equals R2, and R3 around the middle of the range of the RTD. Looking at the Wheatstone bridge circuit shown, the voltage drop on the lower left-hand side is V underscore RTD plus V underscore lead, and on the lower right-hand side is V underscore R3 plus V underscore lead, therefore the bridge voltage V underscore B is the difference, V underscore RTD, V underscore R3. The voltage drop due to the lead resistance has been cancelled out. This always applies if R1 equals R2, and R1, R2 greater than greater than RTD, R3. R1 and R2 can serve the use of limiting the current through the RTD, for example for a PT100, limiting to 1 mA, and 5 volts, would suggest a limiting resistance of approximately R1 equals R2. Topic. 5 over 0.001 5000 ohms Topic. 4 wire configuration The 4 wire resistance configuration increases the accuracy of measurement of resistance. Four terminal sensing eliminates voltage drop in the measuring leads as a contribution to error. To increase accuracy further, any residual thermoelectric voltages generated by different wire types or screwed connections are eliminated by reversal of the direction of the 1 mA current and the leads to the DVM digital voltmeter. The thermoelectric voltages will be produced in one direction only. By averaging the reversed measurements, the thermoelectric error voltages are cancelled out. Topic. Classifications of RTDs The highest accuracy of all PRTs are the standard platinum resistance thermometers SPRTs. This accuracy is achieved at the expense of durability and cost. The SPRT elements are wound from reference grade platinum wire. Internal lead wires are usually made from platinum, while internal supports are made from quartz or fused silica. The sheaths are usually made from quartz or sometimes inconel, depending on temperature range. Larger diameter platinum wire is used, which drives up the cost and results in a lower resistance for the probe typically 25.5 ohms. SPRTs have a wide temperature range minus 200 degrees Celsius to 1000 degrees Celsius and are approximately accurate to plus or minus 0.001 degrees Celsius over the temperature range. SPRTs are only appropriate for laboratory use. Another classification of laboratory PRTs is secondary standard platinum resistance thermometers secondary SPRTs. They are constructed like the SPRT, but the materials are more cost-effective. SPRTs commonly use reference-grade, high-purity smaller diameter platinum wire, metal sheaths and ceramic-type insulators. 
Internal lead wires are usually a nickel-based alloy. Secondary SPRTs are more limited in temperature range minus 200 degrees Celsius to 500 degrees Celsius and are approximately accurate to plus or minus 0.03 degrees Celsius over the temperature range. Industrial PRTs are designed to withstand industrial environments. They can be almost as durable as a thermocouple. Depending on the application, industrial PRTs can use thin film or coil wound elements. The internal lead wires can range from PTFE insulated stranded nickel plated copper to silver wire, depending on the sensor size and application. Sheath material is typically stainless steel, higher temperature applications may demand Inconel. Other materials are used for specialized applications. History The application of the tendency of electrical conductors to increase their electrical resistance with rising temperature was first described by Sir William Siemens at the Bakerian Lecture of 1871 before the Royal Society of Great Britain. The necessary methods of construction were established by Callender, Griffiths, Holborn and Wien between 1885 and 1900. The Space Shuttle made extensive use of platinum resistance thermometers. The only in-flight shutdown of a Space Shuttle main engine, Mission STS-51F, was caused by multiple failures of RTDs which had become brittle and unreliable due to multiple heat and cool cycles. The failures of the sensors falsely suggested that a fuel pump was critically overheating, and the engine was automatically shut down. Following the engine failure incident, the RTDs were replaced with thermocouples. Topic: <laughs> Standard resistance thermometer data. Temperature sensors are usually supplied with thin film elements. The resistance elements are rated in accordance with BSN 60751 to 2008 as resistance thermometer elements functioning up to 1000 degrees Celsius can be supplied. The relation between temperature and resistance is given by the Callender Van Dusen equation RT equals R0 1 plus AT plus BT2 plus CT3 T minus 100 minus 200 CT0 C display style R underscore T equals R underscore 0 left 1 plus at plus BT carrot 2 plus CT carrot 3 T 100 right minus 200 carrot circ mathem CRT equals equals R0 1 plus AT plus BT2 0 CT 850 C display style R underscore T equals R underscore 0 left 1 plus at plus BT carrot 2 right 0 carrot circ mathem C leq T here RT display style R underscore T is the resistance at temperature T R0 display style R underscore 0 is the resistance at 0 degrees Celsius and the constants for an alpha equals 0.00385 Platinum RTD R A equals 3.9083 times 10 minus 3 C minus 1. Display style A equals 3.9083 times 10 carat minus 3 tilde carat circ text C carat minus 1. B equals minus 5.775 times 10 minus 7 C minus 2. Display style B equals minus 5. 775 times 10 carat minus 7 tilde carat circ text c carat minus 2 c equals minus 4.183 times 10 minus 12 c minus 4 Display style c equals minus 4.183 times 10 carat minus 12 tilde carat circ text c carat minus 4. Since the b and c coefficients are relatively small, the resistance changes almost linearly with the temperature. For positive temperature, solution of the quadratic equation yields the following relationship between temperature and resistance: t equals minus a plus a two minus 
4 b 1 minus r t r 0 2 b Display style t equals frac a plus sqrt a caret two four b left one frac r underscore t r underscore zero right two b. Then for a four wire configuration with a one milliampere precision current source, the relationship between temperature and measured voltage v t display style v underscore t is t equals minus a plus a 2 minus 40 b 0 0.1 minus v t 2 b Display style t equals frac a plus sqrt a caret two forty b zero dot one dash v underscore t two b. Topic: Temperature dependent resistances for various popular resistance thermometers. Topic. See also Thermo well Thermostore Thermostat Thermocouple